Hey guys, we are hanging out in downtown Denver. This is Adam and we're gonna look at this Into the Wild trailer. He's gonna tell us all about it. We have not seen this trailer before. Um, we thought every time you know you kind of think you've seen them all, somebody else comes up with a super cool trailer. And this one is really cool. He's gonna tell us about the concept behind it and then kind of how it's constructed and show us a lot of the features. So Adam, show us what do we, what do we have here. Sounds tell us good. about the company first if you could. Yep, so I'm with B&B. &B. Um, we're a small family owned company. We sell off-road travel trailers, lightweight, unique, off-grid. That's kind of what we specialize in. Um, the end of the wild trailer is great. There is no wood on this trailer at all. Um, it's all aluminum, steel, and composite. So you don't have to worry about that mold, mildew, rot. Um, timber and suspension on this unit. So it's an independent suspension, no axle at all. Right. Um, so it can go anywhere you can drag it. It's only right under 2,000 pounds. So it can get dragged and towed by most small SUVs. Sure. Um, and this is the Barrios XT. Good. Yep. So perfect. And oh. then, and then if you could, Adam, tell us like, what kind of ground clearance do we have here? I know you have the timber in, so yep. you're probably going to be 18, 20 inches. Is that about right? Yeah, 18 inches of ground clearance. Perfect. Exactly. Yep. Really nice. 20 gallon water capacity on this. Okay. Um, stainless steel kitchen off the back when we get to it. We can look at that. Okay. Perfect. Um, and we got an instant hot shower on the other side, just to go through the plumbing a little bit. Um, okay. Inside. Yeah, where do you want to start? You want to show yeah, let's go inside. Here? Yeah, the inside's super clean looking. A lot of controls up yeah. in there, like your command control. Yeah, so we got a true queen bed inside, so tall people can fit. Um, we got propane heat inside, so you can stay toasty and uh, extend your camping season a little bit. Yeah, we looked at that earlier. Yep. Heat is right over here. That's good. These things run really quiet, right? They do, yes. And it's plumbed right in off, we'll show the propane tank, right? Around the yep. other side? Right on the other side. Sweet. Yep, 11 pound propane tank will come with it, so. You got insulation on the roof, yep. sides, bottom, everywhere. Exactly. Yeah, yep. that's, that's huge. You got lights that you can dim, which yeah, is kind of nice. nice. Yeah, that's really nice. You got USBs and 12 volts inside, so you can... Uh, All right, you monitor your, your batteries. Exactly. Cool. Battery kill switch if you want to kill everything. Got sure. some 110 outlets. You right. do have to be plugged in to use those. A little bit more storage on this side. Storage. He kind of keeps it nice and wide open, so you can actually throw, like, bags up there and not just small things, which is kind of nice. Yeah, that's really nice. And then also, we noticed before, there's magnets up here yes. to hold those. Uh -huh. That's super exactly. cool. That's yeah. nice. And then, what, what is this unit right here? So that's just your fuse box. Okay. Breakers, easy access. Yeah, nice. Got a max fan, so you can move some, some other through the unit as well. Right. Sweet. And then what kind of, we're queen mattress, and we're about mattress, six inches. And it is a true mattress. It's not just a pad, so, right. yeah. Yeah, I and mean, it feels very comfortable. Yeah. Okay, cool. You want to show us the galley? Yeah. So this is what initially kind of caught our eye. We walked up, we saw the kitchen out here, we saw how everything slides on out. So can we just slide it all in and show it yep. kind of collapsed? That guy down. Super clean. That closes up really, like, yeah. disappears, right? Yeah, we can show it. There we go. So yeah. Nice. Really cool. It's like are there compression latches, it seems like, right? Yes. So you're going to stay really tight. And then what is that, uh, like a 50 series? This CFX 50? CFX 50. It goes yeah. down to negative 8, up to 50. So fridge, oil freezer. Um, little cook stove. It runs yeah. off the 11 pound wheel paint tank. Simple thing right here. Put a little paper towel holder, yeah. which is kind of nice. Yeah, that's cool too. Yeah. And then you had the same kind of storage concept inside here. Exactly. Again, you can dim these lights back here. Right. You got USBs and 12 volts again. Yeah, that's sharp. Yeah. And then you have the stainless across here. Two inch receiver off the back. Okay, like a bike rack or something. Exactly. Yep. Perfect. And then we have stabilizers down here, right? Those are actually level as well. So they're not just stabilizers. They're so you're strong enough that they can level the unit. Sure. Because when you're off-road, exactly. you're never level. Exactly. Sweet. And then I see a water pump back here. Yep. Yep. Okay. And then on the other side right here. This one here? A little tankless water heater, instant hot shower. Yeah, that's he so made it so it's nice. You can actually bring it back to the kitchen as well. So oh, that way right. if you need to rinse things off, good, sure. easy access. But you do have water that runs to the sink. You do? Do you it's have not hot. water to the sink? Okay, it's so not this hot. is your hot. Exactly. Oh, but it exactly. reaches. That's perfect. Good. And then your 11 pound propane tank will go right here. So let's say you're out for a long weekend, say three, four days. Mm -hmm. 
and you're making some hot water here, you're running your heater because it's cold, your 11 pound, it's going to run the that, whole time. It'll run the heat from 35 hours straight. So you got plenty of poop in with you 11 plenty, pounds. Because you're not going to sleep 35 hours in three days, exactly. probably. Yeah. And if you are, too, yeah, exactly. it's a good trip. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's been a good weekend. <laughs> um, Beautiful. And the rack up here. 350 pound capacity, so you can throw kayaks, tule boxes. You can throw a rooftop tent if you exactly. want Exactly. Yep. I have some families that'll buy these. Adults will be down below, kids up top, or right. the dad up top, because that's the way it seems like it kind of goes sometimes. You know? <laughs> right, right. And um, you have doors on either, either side. Exactly. Which is really nice. Yep. Um, and then are these, can you stand on these? Do they support? You can't. That's you huge can't. too. Yes. Exactly. And you have gear up there, that's yep. huge. Um, last thing on the front here, got a nice pass through toolbox. Through yeah, it's huge. Stuff. That's a big box there. Yeah. That's and nice, and it's sealed as well. Yep, completely sealed. Also have an articulating hitch on the front, so right. it lets that suspension do its job instead of a two-inch ball that's going to bounce yep. along. So, Perfect. yeah. And then one of the other guys was saying there's an option to mount a dirt bike on here. Yep. How does that work? So he extends the tongue by okay. about six inches. This goes on the side of the unit. Sure. And then there's a tray right here, mm -hmm. and a bike will sit right on top of there. Does it tilt or something? How do you get the bike on? So it, it comes with a little lamp that bolts there too. Gotcha. Take the lamp off. Bike goes right on top, and it's actually strapless. Okay. So you use the suspension of the bike. They go through the the pegs. Right. And you just bolt it, nice. and it sits there. Nice. Really nice. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. 100 watt solar panel on top as well. Okay. Okay, right. So it's it's you. Off grid, just nice and flat. Right. Yeah. It's pretty much seamless up there. That's yep. very nice. Okay, and so the way we're looking at it right now, we do have an ARB awning on the side. We've got the your whole kitchen set up with the Dometic fridge, everything that's in here, with the heater. Price on this one? What are we? Twenty-nine running? nine sixty. Twenty-nine nine. So just yep. just okay. just shy of thirty thousand. At the show, we're taking a thousand dollars off and giving uh, walls on the awning, so you can enclose that awning if you oh, want to, right, right. and rolls up so you can have like a mesh screened in place as well. So okay, doing nice. a little show special, but yeah, twenty-nine nine. Yeah, that's good. Beautiful trailer. Looks seriously rugged. I mean, what what noticed when we walked up was that. Like the, all the seams, the corners, the edges are protected. That is, that's solid right there. So that's cool. If you're bumping into branches down on a trail or something, that's very cool. Well, Adam, thank you so much, man. Thanks for the walk around. Yeah, thank very you guys. cool trailer. I know you guys are going to sell a bunch of them. That's a sweet I hope one. So that's, that's the goal. And they're made right here in Colorado, right? That is good. Yep. So sweet, just across town. Yep. So all right, thanks a lot, guys. Where can we find you guys? Where can we see these trailers online? I-70 in Quebec. Okay. Um, old Stapleton. Okay. And then your website? Uh, B and B dash rv.com as in recreational vehicles bnb-rv.com yep. all right we'll put that on the screen too awesome cool awesome Thank thanks you. adam yep